What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we finished off Peanut Park in its entirety. And in this episode, we're heading into my least favorite level to do my least favorite part of my least favorite level. Oh, the blue coins and the hundred coin shine. Oh, good. Well, the hundred coin shine isn't so bad, it's the blue coins that I hate. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading straight in, we're going to go to mission number six, and I'm going to be speeding this up and doing post-commentary for it. Because, my god. Okay, so we're speeding this up right off the bat, just going to get right into it. There's a lot of different blue coins all over the place, and I, to be, to be completely honest, I... When I recorded this, I did not really have a clue as to where half of them were um, off the top of my head. I had to do a lot of um, flipping around between missions, as you can see. Um, those those first three that you saw, though, were, can only be attained in mission number six. They cannot be obtained in any other mission, so I did I didn't know that part. Um, most of the rest can be obtained only in mission number eight. However, there is one or two in mission number six that I do miss later. Um, again, this kind of just all goes out of order. Um, this is probably the most convoluted collection of blue coins that I get, period, um, in this entire Let's Play, just because it's it's all over the place. I mean, I, Noki Bay is a very confusing level for me, and the blue coins are in very difficult to get to locations, and not in any... They're, they're just... None of them are really expected. I mean, Noki Bay, everything is all like very well hidden, I guess, and they're just kind of out of the field, and almost none of them are actually immediately visible like hanging out in places you could you'd normally expect so uh, we head back in here and I accidentally I'm gonna be completely honest here after we get this blue coin um, and some way from the fish of death I accidentally went into this level I did not mean to do that yet so after I get all the blue coins in this area because there are I believe four um, we are going to be heading back out and then heading back into mission number eight because of that little mistake I made um, but, you know, that's fine. At least we're going to get them out of the way at some point. Um, but, yes, yeah, so this this is just going to be an entire uh, montage episode. And then we're going to be going segueing right into the 100 coins. In fact, during the 100 coin shine, I actually go straight into... Um, and by the way, yes, we are back in mission number 8. Um, I, during the 100 coin shine, I actually get my last blue coin. So I actually didn't get them all before starting the 100 coin shine. Mostly because they were just... It, it was so confusing. And that... Um, and I am very aware that there is a blue coin that is directly above where I was just there. However, I can't get to it because I don't have the rocket nozzle, and that can only be obtained in mission number six. But anyways, so just, yeah, a lot of platforming all over the place. There's really no order to all this, unfortunately. Because again, Noki Bay is just... I, I really do hate the the um, way that this level... I just really, the design is as far as like looking for blue coins and whatnot. That I am not a fan of at all. Really not. Um, so a lot of going back up the same direction over and over again because I missed certain blue coins along the way. Heading back up again, there you go, a third time. Hopping down and there's actually two blue coins in these eight panels that you can open up. Or I guess seven since one was already open and, well, the ninth one isn't a panel at all. Alright, now checking all those. No, nothing, I mean, you really just, you just don't know. It's, it's so just convoluted, but thank goodness uh, we're getting it done in this video. And it's a shorter video, so, um... You don't have to really bear um, too much. <laughs> right, an accident. And the funny thing about that last blue coin, I actually grabbed that one on accident. Anyways, there's another one down here. There's also another one in that same area that I missed um, there, which is why I didn't get it yet. For those who do know where the coins are in this one, um, I'll be getting it. I actually get it towards the end of the episode. So, because um, again, I was just completely lost. And in fact, while editing this, um, I noticed that um, when I dropped it down, and in fact, it's right here. There it is. Um, it's actually interesting this episode is right after. But uh, what was funny is I, I noticed that as I dropped down from that blue coin that I grabbed first, um, I actually fell right past it and I never saw it while recording. But anyways, now uh, we're going into mission number six. And here in mission number six, we are going to be going after the 100 coin shine. However, I'm going to grab these two and then I suddenly remember, oh wait, I have one more blue coin to grab. So we're going to head up and grab that one, which is actually the last one to grab. Thank goodness, too. Um, and then after I grab that, we get the rest of the 100 coin, uh, The 100 coins. 100 coins are pretty easy, actually, in this mission. It's really not that bad. Um, there's about uh, 40 of them just floating over the water, and it's not like you need to jump to get to any of them. They're all pretty accessible. Um, 
There we go, and I got that last one. There was also 10 blue coins, or I guess, I think it was more like, not, yeah, nine yellow, or yellow coins in that, blue coins, yellow coins in that whole bundle right there. And um, there are also uh, a bunch of coins hidden in the, the walls up or in the um, area just above where we're about to go to. So I will be getting plenty of them here. Just kind of follow the path that I'm taking. The hunter coin, I do, I did have pretty, I had it down. It wasn't, it wasn't as difficult as the blue coins, that's for sure. Much, much easier to figure out. Anyways, we want to fall back down here. There's a lot of different little panels we can go through that have lots of yellow coins in them. Such as in here. Well, actually, no, not in there. Um, look a little further. There we go. As you can see, like right down through here, there's a bunch. And you can get a bunch more that way and whatnot. Now that was, that's probably my least favorite thing is that you have to wait for the entire thing to reset itself before you can open it up again, which, I don't know, it gets on my nerves. Okay, ugh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and also the, the platforming in this area is not fun. It is not fun. Okay. Wait for it. <laughs> there we go. But anyways, yeah, um, so that's basically it for the 100 coins. Um, just kind of watch the video, I guess, and get a good idea as to where the rest of them are. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys as soon as we have collected the shine. You know, aside from the difficulty of the platforming, that wasn't so bad at all. Not at all. I mean, just in that one little area. Now, the only, the one real problem with this 100 coin shine mission is getting to the shine itself. That is hands down the worst part. So we have to go all the way up to it. The way you're going to want to do that is you're going to want to make your way up this side of the level as fat, as high as you can possibly go. And, oof, good thing I made that. Okay, oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. He grabbed. Good mess. Okay, not, not like, I'm like saying goodness, like the word goodness, not like as in good Ness, as in like, oh, good job, Ness, from, you know, character from Earthbound. No, no, okay. I mean, Ness is good too, but anyways. <laughs> Alright, um, so what, we just want to wall jump our way up here, get, get high enough that we can actually make our way to this um, giant structure that's over here, here we go, and then we're going to want to go up the spiral structure, miss that, that's fine, that's fine, you just walk around it. And then we're going to want to make our way up the tightrope all the way to the shine and collect it. So yeah, that is probably the worst part. I mean, aside from wall jumping up that... Uh, well, the wall jumping is a little bit touchy in this game at times. Um, because of the angles and whatnot. But aside from the wall jumping in that one area, it's really not bad. And there are other places to get yellow coins in this. But anyway, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. So with that, this has been the Squirtle King. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine very much. And I will see you all in the next one.